What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, four division world champion, Mexican superstar boxer, Mikey Garcia, weighs in on the longest reigning champion in the sport of boxing, WBC featherweight world champion, Mr. Gary Russell Jr., calling out everybody. We know Mr. Gary Russell Jr. has called out three division world champion, junior welterweight, undisputed world champion, and currently the WBO welterweight world champion, widely considered the number one pound-for-pound -pound boxer in the world, Terrence Bud Crawford, as well as having fights in the works like undefeated WBC lightweight world champion superstar boxer Devin the Dream Haney, right? Gary Russell Jr. has been on an absolute tear. He's been calling out uh, Javante Tank Davis, two-division world champion, currently the WBA lightweight world champion, who's on the verge of fighting the kicker. Four-division world champion, Mexican superstar boxer Leo Santa Cruz. Leo Santa Cruz is great friends with Mikey Garcia. Gary Russell Jr. has an ongoing feud with Leo Santa Cruz. There was a video in which Gary Russell Jr. approached Leo Santa Cruz's dad, put his arm around him, and told him to have your son respond to me and make the fight happen. Obviously, Mikey Garcia, Leo Santa Cruz's friends, fans, family, didn't take too kind of that. So today, when asked about Gary Russell Jr., Mikey Garcia responds, who is that? And then the reporter says, Gary Russell Jr., he said, who is he? What, what, is, what, is, what does he do? He said, oh, the featherweight? She said, yeah. You know, he called out Terrence Crawford, called out Devin. He said, oh, I don't know. I don't know who he is. I never watched him. I have no clue about him. Gary Russell Jr. is the longest reigning champion in the sport of boxing currently right now. Gary Russell Jr. was campaigning in lower weights since Mikey Garcia was campaigning at the lower weights, the 126-pound division. Of course, Mikey Garcia knows who he is, but he's dismissing him, and I believe it's due to the, the, the situation between Gary Russell and Leo Santa Cruz. Then he goes on to say, well, first he says he don't know who Gary Russell is. Then he says, well, he's a featherweight, 126-pounder. Why is he talking about fighting Terrence Crawford at 147? But here's the thing. Mikey, everybody was saying the same thing about you. He says Gary Russell's too small. He should be focusing on the featherweight division. Why is he talking about Terrence Crawford? Well, Mikey, everybody was saying the same thing about you when you said that you want to fight undefeated, unified, now unified WBC, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, Earl of Truth Spence Jr. Everybody thought it was a joke. Nobody took you serious. They said you're too small. They said, well, you're just daring to be great because you're in a win-win situation and Errol Spence is in a lose-lose situation. Nobody believed you had the skills. And then when Mikey Garcia stated he saw something in Errol Spence that he felt like he could exploit, everybody wondered what could that possibly be. They said the fight was a, you know, a joke. Today's time, nobody likes to give Errol Spence the credit for beating Mikey Garcia every single round in their fight. And it wasn't his size difference that was the difference in the fight. It was the skill level because Errol Spence didn't use his size to defeat Mikey Garcia. He used his skills. He boxed him from the outside. He used his ring IQ, ring generalship, distance. This is what Errol Spence used to beat Mikey Garcia. Not his size. He didn't try to walk him down and, and, and impose his size and his strength on Mikey Garcia. He simply used his skills. He was the better fighter in, in the pocket when they were in the pocket, and he was the better fighter on the outside. So it was simply his skills. Mikey Garcia's own brother, former world champion Robert Garcia, and his dad, the Big G, all stated that they didn't want Mikey Garcia to pursue this fight. They tried their best to talk him out of pushing this fight. Even Errol Spence, when asked about it, laughed. He didn't take it serious. Now, Mikey Garcia came up short. But when given, nobody took Kel Brook, former IBF welterweight world champion, serious British superstar boxer, 
when he said he was going to go up to 160 and challenge unified middleweight world champion Gennady Triple G Golovkin at the time. Again, Kell Brook came up short, but nobody took Kell Brook serious when he said he was going to do it. But there's guys that took these chances, dared to be great, and was successful, a la Shane Mosley. Went up a couple of weight classes and challenged Oscar De La Hoya and beat him. Now, I know it's different going up from 126 to 147. That's a 21-pound weight jump. That's You're skipping over 30, 35, and 40 to go to 47. So you're moving up four divisions. So Shane Mosley moved up from 35 to 47. Mikey moved up from actually 40 to 47 because Mikey fought three out of his last four, three to four out of his last five fights were at 140. He even won a world title there for Adrian Broner there. But people are going to say that he jumped from 135 to 140, 147. Cool. There's guys that were successful doing this. Okay, Roy Jones Jr. jumped from 175 to heavyweight, and he was successful. So there's guys that made these jumps. But like I said, you don't see guys making more than two weight class jumps to challenge guys to dare to be great. Gary Russell is, is attempting to dare to be great and jump four weight classes. So why say, especially if you in Mikey Garcia's shoes, you still campaigning at welterweight. You struggled in your last fight against Jesse Vargas, and most people deem you too small to compete at the welterweight division. But Mikey Garcia is set on becoming a five-division world champion. He's set on becoming a welterweight world champion. So he's a, a champion, 126, 130, 35, and 40. He's looking to become a champion now in the fifth division. And everybody, n not too many people, believe he's going to have the opportunity to do so. Uh, looks like he's on the verge of securing and locking down a fight with Mike, uh, eight-division world champion, legendary iconic Filipino superstar boxer Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, who's currently the WBA welterweight world champion. And that looks like the next fight for Mikey Garcia and Manny Pacquiao, and it would take place in 2021 because Manny Pacquiao team and uh, legendary iconic Hall of Fame trainer Freddie Roach stated that he, won't, he don't see Manny Pacquiao fighting again until 2021. So that looks like the time frame for Mikey Garcia, Manny Pacquiao. But with that said, he said he feel like he liked his chances against Manny Pacquiao because Manny Pacquiao is more on his size level. But yet you campaigning at this weight trying to become a five-division world champion. And there's people that, did, that don't believe that you could do so and succeed, but you won't let anybody deter you from doing it. So why would you say that Gary Russell should be focusing on the featherweight division? If he's daring to be great and believes in his skills and has the confidence that he could beat a Terrence Crawford, then make the fight. Just like Errol Spence made the fight against Mikey Garcia. When everybody thought that Mikey Garcia was simply joking. And then when he, everybody realized he was serious, how much of a mismatch it was. But he was in a win-win situation. If he lost and lost big, big, he was supposed to. If he won, right, he achieved something great. If he looked good, he exposed Errol Spence. Errol Spence was in a lose-lose situation. Had nothing to gain from fighting Mikey Garcia other than it being on pay-per-view. And he took the challenge. So if Gary Russell Jr. feels like he could beat Terrence Crawford and they have a, a storyline, they have history, then why not make the fight? Why try to tell Gary Russell Jr. he needs to focus on the weight class he's in? When he's looking to become a multi-division world champion, just like Mikey Garcia. And to pretend you don't know who Gary Russell Jr. is, is ludicrous to say the least. Of course, Mikey Garcia knows who he is. But like I said, I believe that the fact that Mikey Garcia is close friends with Leo Santa Cruz and Leo Santa Cruz has this situation with Gary Russell Jr., that's the reason for him pretending and dismissing Gary Russell Jr. And Gary Russell Jr. also said that he would fight Mikey Garcia as well. I don't believe that Gary Russell Jr. is pretending. I believe he's serious and he's willing to fight any and everybody. Win, lose, or draw. If you think a great big man beats a great little man, as I do, 
Well, go ahead. We have to still see it because there is anomalies in the sport of boxing. There is the Shane Mosley's of the world. Most recently. And yes, you have a lot of guys that dared to be great. You have Roberto Duran jump up. Beat Sugar Ray Leonard from 135-47. There were plenty of people that thought that he couldn't pull it off. He didn't stand a chance. He was at a, a distinct disadvantage. But he pulled it off. And Leo Santa Cruz should have been uh, graced the square circle and shared the ring with Gary Russell Jr. years ago. But once again, Leo Santa Cruz and his team pretended they don't know who Gary Russell Jr. is either. Leo Santa Cruz has went as far as to talk about now. He got a huge fight coming up with Tank Davis October 17th. But Leo Santa Cruz, too, was willing to fight Carl Frampton for a third time after he just beat Carl Frampton in their rematch. He lost the first fight, but he beat him in a rematch. And Leo Santa Cruz is saying that he wants to fight Carl Frampton in a trilogy match. Carl Frampton should be looking, pushing for that fight more than Leo Santa Cruz. Leo Santa Cruz just won the second fight. Leo Santa Cruz, should, he fought Abner Morris twice. Why he hasn't given Gary Russell Jr. opportunity? So for Mikey Garcia, who's a student in the sport of boxing, he knows very well who Gary Russell Jr. is, and it's irresponsible on the part of Gary, uh, Mikey Garcia to dismiss Gary Russell Jr. The sport of boxing needs as many major players in it to succeed as possible. That's why it's not considered a, anymore a mainstream sport in the United States anymore. It's not perceived the same way it is in the UK and in many other countries because of situations like this. You could know who he is. You don't have to be in favor of him, but don't pretend that you don't know who he is. Gary Russell Jr. versus Mikey Garcia. You look in the fight, Manny Pacquiao, ironically enough, and Manny Pacquiao is not too far off in size difference from Gary Russell Jr., and Manny Pacquiao campaigns another anomaly that campaigns eight divisions and beat Miguel Cotto, beat Oscar De La Hoya. You had the people in the Philippines petitioning for My Manny Pacquiao not to be approved to fight Oscar De La Hoya because they thought that he was just too much, he was too much at too much of a size disadvantage and could seriously get hurt against Oscar De La Hoya. And he went on to prove again against Cotto. And he went on to prove against Clotty. And then Ricky Haddon. And then Margarito. So on and so forth. Until the point where we just got, it became normal and we just got used to Manny Pacquiao, a guy of his stature, competing at the welterweight division. Ironically enough, Manny Pacquiao's last knockout loss was to a guy that wasn't even a welterweight. In Juan Manuel Marquez, who started off in the lower weight classes and about the same size, if not slightly bigger than Manny Pacquiao. With, they have four fights. In the last fight, Marquez got the better of him and knocked him out cold. But not even a big welterweight knocked out Manny Pacquiao. So we can't always dismiss these guys that are daring to be great. Point blank and period. And if you feel that way, then you should push for Leo Santa Cruz to fight Gary Russell Jr. as well. Because that's a major fight. So nobody's stopping and saying that dismissing Mikey Garcia for daring to be great. When he said he wanted to fight Keith Thurman after losing to Errol Spence Jr. So, but uh, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire L D. B, C, shout out to New Media, shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.